but there's a new research center uh, at the University of Iowa that's looking at specifically um, diagnosis concerns, and and they're currently, uh, and this is a, a dad of uh, a young man who's on the spectrum, and the dad is a researcher, and said, I want to know more about how this happens. And so they are currently taking participants that are very young and asking folks to take way more video than anybody ever thought of so that they can begin to look and see things through a very finite lens. It's very interesting. I want to encourage anybody who's out there who's got little kids and is watching, take as much videotape as you can bear. It's digital now. What's It's just going to take up space. Get it like a two terabyte little thing. Take videos. Here's what I want you to know. There's absolutely no possibility that you're going to be like, dang, I wish we'd taken less video. That will never happen. Nobody has ever said that ever. Everybody has said, oh, why didn't we videotape that? Uh, your kids change day by day. Take video. I think for families that have kiddos on the spectrum, I think we take less video because it feels heartbreaking if your kid is inter interacting to take video of them. If your kid is tantruming, it feels heartbreaking to take video of them. But I'll be honest with you, you gotta be doing something and you can stand there and stress while things are happening. You can stand there and feel bad or you can videotape so that you can see the progress as your child starts to get better, as your child starts to express who they are, as your child finds their place in the world. So videotape, video, videotape. But the University of Iowa was very interested in participants because they're looking at being able to go back and seeing a mass amount of information because doctors and researchers can't watch kids every day. That's up to us, the caregivers. So videotape, 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 but go to the University of Iowa and take a look at what um, what they're doing. If you live close by, um, see if you can participate. And they might even be taking people from far away, I'm not sure. Uh, but we really, really appreciate um, that this is, I think they're gonna come up with something really interesting about this. I'm still lost. So Traven, go ahead and put up our third story because I cannot find it anywhere. I have this new system with a new screen and I can't find any, anything. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.